If you're using NX 3D CAD software and want to find interferences between moving parts or create flashy presentations or assembly instructions, you've come to the right place. I'll teach you how to animate in minutes. If you make products with moving parts, chances are you've needed some type of an envelope to help define the volumes of moving parts. Envelopes can help you keep from designing parts or adding parts that might occupy the same volume, causing an interference. An envelope for a part with a single path of motion isn't too difficult to define, but when you have a part with infinite degrees of freedom, things get awful challenging. Let's see what Animation Designer can do. Let's see how we can get an envelope of all possible articulations with this excavator example. I've already got the kinematic definition defined. For example, I've got my rigid groups created so I know exactly what can move. I've got my joints created so I know how things can move. And I've already added the motors so the rigid groups know uh, where they need to go. All right, let's just do a quick play and you can see what all of this magic looks like. Now, Getting an envelope of a single path is not too difficult, but as you can imagine in this example here, there's an infinite possible combinations. How do I generate an envelope of everything? All right, so what we're going to do is, in fact, let's just turn an envelope on so you can see exactly what it looks like with just a single path of motion. And I'll turn my tolerance up a little bit so I don't need it that tight. And uh, we can see that we have our uh, machinery following through that envelope. Our goal is to do all possible combinations. All right, undo that. Now, what I don't need is I don't need a lot of these um, extra joints on here, like these cylindrical joints. All I need is the articulation of the boom, the arm, the bucket, and the main machinery itself. And a lot of this stuff is just kind of extra to make it look really, really uh, fancy. So we're going to hide a lot of this, or I should say suppress a lot of this, that I actually don't need. Some of this uh, complex lever mechanisms up here, we don't need any of that. We just need some of the main joints that are in our model, like this guy, uh, this guy, the one on the bottom, and uh, the one in this bucket right here. Now, what I've already done ahead of time is I've set up the range of limits for each of these joints. For example, this machinery here can rotate plus or minus 100 degrees. That's what's going to be used in our iterative envelope command. The other thing I don't need is a lot of this, um, this equipment here. I don't need to see this linkage and the joints that I've just hidden or suppressed. I really don't need to see the um, equipment just sitting there on the, uh, on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hide all of these things. Now, if we uh, turn on our iterative envelope command... And we uh, can, of course, dance our joints back and forth to see what the limits are. All I want to do is simply set a tolerance, of course. I'm going to pick that same bucket that you saw earlier. And the software is going to iterate through every possible joint combination and define or, or create a defining envelope of all of the range of motion here. So you can imagine the uses here. If you're designing a car seat that can tilt, it can recline, it can go up and back and forward. Does it ever hit the steering wheel? This command here will tell you if it will. Once it's done, we can, uh, we can figure out exactly where a fence needs to go or a keep out range or if this thing is going to ever bump into anything in its uh, surrounding area. Now, if I use my, uh, my rigid group move command, I can see as I drag this thing out, it's going to hit the limits of that envelope, but it's never going to go through it because that's what this command is all about, is defining an envelope of all possible combinations. Pretty handy to use if you're looking at uh, creating a keep out range for a machinery or a piece of equipment that has an unlimited uh, variation of articulations. Well, I hope this short lesson on iterative envelopes will help you design better products faster. Keep designing and keep watching. Well, that covers this week's lesson. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up. If you have a tip to share, leave a comment so my subs can learn more. Thanks for watching.